Hey guys, and welcome to the Daily Run. I am Cipher Cat, and it is the 15th of September, and today we're playing Dungeons and Dreadmore. So, uh, let's get into it. Now, last episode, as you may recall, we had a minor mistake where we died, and I put a call out asking for builds, and Damon Tsukiru came through. Now, I'm actually not sure if this is a troll build, but I'm gonna follow it anyway. Um,. It was very basic. It was vampirism, which as soon as I find it, I will click it. I actually think it's a bit of a troll build. I don't know. But we'll see. As soon as I can find vampirism, it's probably the one that looks like it has a vampire on it. You know, I'm just clicking the ones I can see. Uh, vampirism, necronomicon, uh, blood magic, killer vegan, communism. That's going to be the one with the communist on it. There we go. Uh, alchemy, perception. Yeah, I don't know. Where's perception? Anyway. Uh, so how's everyone going? Is everyone having a good day? Everyone having fun? Could be worse, I guess. Um, as soon as I figure this out, I will actually be able to start talking properly. Perception is the guy going, yeah! Cool. Uh, meathead. Because he doesn't eat meat. Now, last episode I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong with killer veganism. And... Obviously, vegans can't kill things which are meat because that goes against the vegan code. Yeah, I, I don't know. But I may... And also, I, of course, can't eat meat. So I don't know if the diet sandwich is meaty, but we can always try eating it. See, this is an animal. You can't kill animals. So I'll leave it alone. See, another animal. Leave it alone. It's friendly. This, however, is an other. Wait, do I not have a weapon? I don't... Oh, I do start with a weapon. I have a sacrificial dagger. Oh, really, I should be using hammer and sickle. Maybe. I'm not sure I should be using both, actually. Uh, let's use the sickle. It's probably cool. Okay, now I want to try something with this uh, little dude. I want to see if I can try killing him not using... Seems to be okay to kill him without... Okay, if I use magic to kill him it seems to be okay. I do have lingering weakness trying to kill me and I also have a gorilla attack which is popular front to be... Oh, popular front to be sneak attacking imperialists then is disappearing before court right okay well that didn't work because I've lost my vegan powers <laughs> gorilla in the mist that's funny okay so I can use magic to kill them but I can't use uh, my communism powers also the ability to run away very cool actually I'm you know what? I'm sorry if I said this is a troll build. It actually seems pretty cool. Um, I mean, I can always renege on the calling it a troll build anytime I like because that's the way of the world. But I actually think this is a legitimate suggestion. So I apologize for saying otherwise. Of course, if you're laughing maniacally because it is a troll build, then uh, power to you, I guess. So I can... This will cost me hit points, and I guess if I get my veganism back. Right, okay. It's not too bad. Okay, and the health region that I'm losing is probably negated by my vampirism. Okay. I'm willing to bet a vegan can't eat eggs. I've never thought about a vegan diet before, I, because I just haven't. Okay, I'm going to need more mana, that's alright. Oh, but I have, does blood magic give me mana? No, blood magic, yes it does, it gives me mana after each kill, okay. Uh, and a ring, in fact this is a magic ring, which gives me two of that stat. Oh, it's extra blasting damage. 
That's a good ring to find just randomly. I can keep trying to do this one because it's going to be safe. Uh, it is an animal because it is a bee person and bee people are animals. And we've already leveled up. Fantastic. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. All right. Um, well, I think getting more health regen is probably not bad. And also we can heal ourselves a bit more. We do need to stop getting this weakness, actually, because that will kill me if I keep doing it. So we're going to stop using my dark magical powers for a little bit. Uh, simply because I will die if I just keep doing it. A blobby. Thankfully these uh, lingering weaknesses are wearing off. And a vegetable? Is a... A vegetable is okay to kill. And also it gave me a plum. Okay, my vegan powers are back. That's good news. So... We've got a new shirt. A foppish tunic, so we might as well put that on increases my armor a little bit. There's a lot of stuff here that I'll probably be selling this time around because I don't have any crafting skills. So that's going to be interesting. I do have potion making though. What do we need for potion making? Um, go away. Wrong screen to go away. Okay. Potion making. Uh, we can make alcohols. I mean that's potentially useful I guess. Uh, we can make a belt. Am I looking at the wrong screen? Surely you do not make... Am I looking at potions? Yeah, that's the potion making skill. Okay, so... You can make pants and belts out of potion making. It's more alchemy, isn't it? Because I'm seeing... Or oh, brewing. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I need to use socialized healthcare. And that makes me regenerate health at a reasonable rate. Which will probably counter the vegan problem that I have. <laughs> the vegan problem that I have. <laughs> oh man, guys, I've got such a vegan problem. Uh, yeah, that's cool. We're going to kill, whenever we have not too much lingering weakness, we will be killing the uh, animals. I love that attack. That attack is really cool. Uh, Siegfried, that's kind of a dangerous diggle. Evil magic potato, not too dangerous. And actually, since we can heal ourselves with any without any real stress probably don't want to do that again anytime soon because we do have seven stacks of lingering weakness I mean we're a vegan so we're already pretty weak you know having not mace of windu out okay so that was a bunch of stuff I'm never gonna be able to craft but thanks game anyway the only way I'm gonna be able to craft that stuff is if I get an item that like Oh, jeez. That uh, increases my crafting skills. And the idea of getting six points of that is kind of ridiculous. I'm now wondering how many times Lingering Weakness stacks. It's stacked to eight at the moment. Eight might be where it maxes out. Nope, never mind. It's got to nine. Okay, so... It sort of rolls over, so definitely something that increases my max health would be useful, at least until I get a more killy spell. Uh, Statue of Dreadmore, always worth breaking for heroic vandalism. Okay, yeah, this actually is a really good build. I am... You're absolutely right, everything does synergize. I am sorry that I called you a troll. Mystical Plaid Energy, 
Yeah, that's alright. I can always take some mystical plaid. Uh, about now I'd like to find a Brax shop. Ow. Ow. I've got to not step on traps, that's my resolution. Because traps seems to be what kills me the most in this game. So if we- oh! Oh yeah, I didn't lose my vegan powers. Cool. I'm suspicious I didn't lose my vegan powers, but I'm glad it happened. The attack to go invisible, so good. Okay, that diggle is just getting in my way. I will kill you for the last thing I do, diggle. I like how it doesn't... Veganism is only a problem if you actually are the one to kill them. If you cause their death, not your fault. But if you... Like if... Yeah. You do something to cause their death, it's not your fault. If you actively kill them, you're a bad vegan. Oh, hang on. I've got fallen veganism again. Why did I mess up? Man, being a vegan is hard. Like a s somewhat satanic vegan. Anyway, I am now a middling kid. Uh, I could increase my veganism skills, but the problem is that would give me more penalties when I make a mistake. Uh, highly aware. Seems like it could be good since I'll be able to see traps slightly better. And any time I can see a trap slightly more in advance is probably a little bit safer for me. Since 9 times out of 10 that's how I die. And the other one time is another stupid death. Uh, we've got a chest here that we can't open at the moment, but we may have to come back here. Lufflisk is not a vegetable. So we will not be touching that at this stage. Man, it sucks not being a vegan. Like, I love being a vegan, but when you're not a vegan, I just, I don't know what to do with my life, you know? I just want to go eat an animal or something. I'm glad that uh, the search engine doesn't pick up, like, words that are said during, like, uh, videos, because otherwise this is going to get really weird search results. Uh, anyway, I got Robert the Beige Warlock. I guess it's instead of Robe of the White Wizard. Uh, so we'll put that on. It increases my armor a bit and increases resistances. And that's probably good. I don't... I gotta check out the runes how they work. Uh, food or FUD. I wonder if the developers of this game are like Scandinavian. I feel like either they are or they just really like Scandinavian stuff because there's a lot of Scandinavian references. Oh, anti-magic? What does that mean? Okay, my magic energy has been suppressed. That's fine. I'm almost not a full-on vegan. Okay, my veganism powers are back. And then immediately we have to fight a bee. Uh, I would like that ring. I have no way to get that ring at the moment. Real socialism. Everything is fine in Kremlin. <laughs> okay! That's a, uh... I was gonna say a buff, but I don't even know if that is a buff. It's just a thing. I mean, it's good. I'm glad everything is fine in the Kremlin. I would be concerned if it wasn't. Uh, potatoes I definitely want to kill. Because they give me sometimes fruit and vegetables and other things that vegans like. Aside from murder. Cybercone! What? Yeah, I'll put on a cybercone. My resistances are sort of all over the board now. I feel like I might want to hold on to resistance gear this time. 
I'm gonna go a little bit less on the crazy money train this time I feel because I think last time oh whoops it went a bit crazy and I think if we can do less of that I'd probably be happier about my life Okay, a robe, sure, crude stone axe, you know, both lever, wrong lever, it was actually the right lever, uh, Amazonian bee person is dead, my spells are going nuts, uh, and a bookshelf containing how to make a clockwork chain axe, which is of course the coolest weapon in Warhammer 40,000 universe. I mean, chain sword is good, but a chain axe is hilarious. It's like so the best of both worlds. Uh, seems like we've come into a bar with a barbecue, and there's some brie cheese in the barbecue, which is I'm not sure if you put cheese in a barbecue. You'd think I'd know being a New Zealander, but see, New Zealanders like a good barbecue. It's the New Zealand tradition to have barbecue. No. I just attacked an animal. Am I about to lose my vegan powers? No? Maybe sometimes it doesn't care. Just like real vegans. Oh, okay. Slower, slower. My inventory is full? Of course it is. Uh, you know I don't care for this stuff. I'll take the icy one though. Simple hatchet is actually a slight improvement. No, it's exactly the same. Okay, whatever. I'd rather use the sickle than the hatchet because Stalin, ow, said it was good. And Stalin would never lie to the people because Stalin was the best leader they had. Ow! Communism! An apple. A vegetable dropped an apple. Not even gonna question that. Uh, blunge caps. Look, we do not need anything that's meaty. Do we even have any meat? I don't think we have any meat on us. Okay, well, we're gonna leave these tickles alone. We're gonna take the eggs though. I wonder if the eggs ruin veganism. I feel like it would. Oh wait, can I not eat? Oh, hang on. Let me guess, with vampirism I can't eat? I can't eat. Okay, so food is completely irrelevant to me. Okay, it's just another weird thing about this build. Well, food just can be thrown away then, and I'm going to turn off the auto pickup of food. Um... I still want alcohol though. Oh, and there's the other synergy with like uh, potion making. That that means I can use all my apples and things to make uh, alcohol. I only had one, three apples, huh? Okay. No, this is. I read that uh, vampirism with veganism didn't make sense. That's why I thought this was a troll build. But this is really cool. Well, thank you so much, Damon. Damon. Is it Damon? That makes sense. But if you got a brother or a sister called Night Girl or Nightman, um. That's cool too, actually. Night Girl sounds like a cool superhero name. Actually, Dayman's not bad either. Alright, so we're just gonna... Oh my god. Doors. Why are you so hard to open? A crude axe. I kind of want to stack one damage real big. Dire Empowerment is a potion. Sure, why not? Can I just go around this? I can. I just want that potion. 
which I thought it was going to be like, your inventory is full, eat more food. It doesn't even say that. Um, damn potato. <gasps> Shit. I made the classic mistake. And then I did it again because I thought it would be okay the second time. Okay, my veganism is so bad right now. Well, my veganism can't get any worse. Okay, we're just gonna walk backwards and forwards for a little bit just to get my veganism back. What a classic mistake. Oh shit, all my stats are zero or one? Yeah, okay, I've gotta be real careful not to lose veganism. Okay, my stats are coming back up now. Oh, I must have lost my veganism earlier then. Shit, the vegan police are real, guys. And they are mad. Okay, we're probably fine now. Another apple so we can make more booze. Uh, that's cool. That's fine. I don't really care. Bunch of bookshelves. The worst idea ever. Three grenades to a sword. Yeah, that is the worst idea ever. That is literally the worst idea ever. Um, which is why I think it's hilarious. I mean, it's like the sword bombs from, it was like, oh man, I used to love web comics. Like I used to read so many web comics. Which on 56k modem, I'd like to say, was actually a bit impressive. Like the number of comics I would read on a 56k modem. Ah. Man, I do not miss, miss the 56k modem. Like, I never will. It certainly has its time and place, but... Jeez, the day of how happy I was when it was downloading at 4 kilobytes a second. I mean, jeez. These days, I would just check my internet and make sure it's working, because clearly it wouldn't be. I mean, yeah, if your downloads are going at 4 kilobytes per second, you just, like, call out your ISP and you just say... Like, you bring it up and they're like, Hello and welcome to your ISP. For such and such, press 1. And you just immediately shout, Get better internet! And you hang up. Because you don't have time to wait for someone to pick up the phone. Because you're a busy man. Oh, woman. you got shit to do. But you can't do it because the internet is not working. Oh, don't worry, I feel your pain. We all feel your pain one point or another. Uh, my lingering weakness is now at 40. <laughs> That's so lingering weakness. Where is Brax's shop? There's gotta be a Brax shop near here. I wouldn't mind being able to make more alcohols. Ah, oh, this build is so fun. Like the health management and the lingering weaknesses. It's really fucking clever. Uh, and you can still kill Diggles because magics. And magics are cool. Uh, that is a Loot Flisk statue. And as we all know, Loot Flisk for the Loot Flisk God. I might just start throwing everything into the Loot Flisk cube. Oh, here we go. Here's a Brax shop. What is he selling? Anything good? No, not really. Okay. Uh, what do we not need? A lot of this shit. We'll keep the alcohol. I uh, feel like I don't need this burnt out wand. Or this bread. 
I mean, already just selling so much of the stuff just gives me so much... Selling the food gives me so much room. In fact, we can sell that. The apple will be used. Uh, we're going to put mushrooms in here. I assume I can eat mushrooms. That may be a dangerous thing to assume. Um, you know what? I've got a crossbow. I should put some bolts in there. Do I have anything else that's completely pointless in there? Yeah, not that. Oh, actually. 100% alcohol. I don't know if that'll kill me or if that'll make me stronger. Normally I would know the answer to that, but not in this game. Okay. I was say, Brax is not trying to kill me. Okay. Fantastique. Which is French for fantastic. So there's probably another Brax store on this level somewhere. There's usually like two. And there is... No! I think I'm okay. Okay. Okay, we got our... Uh... Roderick Cube. Sorry, the Pocket Dimension Cube. We can open that because the door isn't open. Ow. There's a B person. Ow. No, screw that. B person's fine. A uh, quest. Okay. A nail board. That's actually an improvement on my current weaponry. Already I'm doing pretty good weapon uh, damage. I don't know why I took that for a hit. I got too excited, I think. Sometimes people get excited when they see bread. I mean, I know some people who get excited when they see bread. So I should be no different. Uh, this room just has bolts in it. That's cool. That diggle just had an animation to leap out of the ground. Well, goodbye diggle. A simple wooden shield, I will put that on. Thank you game. Uh, loot flisk, always take loot, fi loot flisk. Ow! Those things are bad for you. Okay, I'm pretty badly hurt. Slow motion for a little bit. Get some of that Soviet care. That Soviet care just sounds really concerning. You know, it's like the whole villain take care of him. I don't think they're planning to take care of him, guys. I think they're planning to- oh, raise the sword even better. Oh, chest of evil. That's always a risky play, which I will open it. I just picked that up without realizing that it was actually a quest objective. I have to use my magic to kill these because birds are animals. Not food. Sadly. As I said before, being a vegan is hard. Because normally I would eat birds that I killed with dark magics. Can't do that now. Uh, that uber chest is open. So I will take that chest and open it. And inside is a fairly nondescript amulet, which gives me one light resist. See, that ring, that's a good ring. This room is actually pretty good. It had a quest, or, uh, quest in it. It had a bookshelf. It's... Yep, I saw that. It had a full level. My princess is in another castle. Uh, so... Man, I want to learn all these things. I don't really need more alcohol at this point. Trap sense. Trap sense. I don't know why I keep getting trap stuff, but it's more XP really as well, so... That's going to be my excuse. And I'm sticking with it.
Okay, so hopefully in this chest isn't an animal. There was not an animal. But you know what has happened? We've run out of time, so... Oh, and we got a thing. Hang on, shut up. Not you, you can keep talking. Uh, we got more trap affinity. Nice! That's really good. But unfortunately, we'll have to be using it next episode. Oh, tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And again, thank you, Damon, for the not troll build. It's really fun. I recommend if you play Dungeon Dreadmore, try Vampirism, Necronomics, Blood Magic, Killer Vegan, Communism, Alchemy, and Perception. It is OP, and everything synergizes. See you tomorrow, guys.